Hey folks, so in this video we're going to download a device processing agent to a user's machine so their device can be re and even cut over from a source to a target domain. So we can see our devices here in not ready devices. So in the migration manager for Active Directory section, we'll just head to devices and servers and we'll start downloading that agent. We can actually find it in the Not Ready Devices tab with the devices already listed. We select our device to get more information, but ultimately we want to select the Downloads button. And in this section, we're going to verify that there's actually mapping data for the users we're interested in. And it does look like there is. So that's a positive sign. Checking for these two files and checking for the users you want within it is one of the best practices you can do to prepare a profile for proper migration and to make sure it may work. Now we want to download the latest version of the device agent and we'll get that to the workstation in any way that we can. You will know admin best practices so what we'll do is just get it there any way we can via GPO or whatever and we'll start the installer it's going to ask you for that URL and registration key from the downloads page, just like the directory sync agent. So we'll address it the same way. And we can coast right through this installation for this particular migration scenario. We don't need to use proxies at all. We'll hit finish and we'll wait for the polling interval to kick in. Now, with polling intervals, you can actually adjust it in the registry key, and we'll show you how right quick. So we know the service is running, and we'll start up registry editor. Now, we may want to do this as an administrator. Right now, I'm logged in as our good buddy, Joe. So we'll just set up this uh, run as different user option, and we'll head on through, and we'll just verify that these keys are present. It'll be under HKLM software, WoW 6432 node, quest, and under the agent key. And we'll find it right there under odmad underscore ad. And we're looking for that interval, poll interval seconds, registry entry. And we'll change it to 40 or 60 decimal. And we'll head into services and restart that service. So that registry key can take effect. So we're restarting and it's restarted. We'll just go ahead and log out of Joe's profile and then we'll head back to the agent status screen of ready and not ready devices. Just wait for that device to come up once that polling interval kicks in. So again we'll use the pancake menu, devices and servers, and we'll wait for our good guy to show up. And there he is. So it's going to show some information about the device and the version of agent it's running. It looks like it's the latest version, so that's great. And from here, in this dropdown, we can access a number of actions that we can do. Now, not all of these can be done right away, but the main thing that you're focused on with re a user and cutting them over is first thing. You want to queue a re job. So we'll do that, and we'll wait for it to change in the re status column of this status bar. And on the device, when it appears to be complete and rebooted, we can actually look at the logs in this directory and check to see if there were any errors encountered. And then in this log, we look for the line of BT reacl completed, and it was. But there's one way to really confirm that all this worked in conjunction with these actions. And that's to look at the user's profile folder, Joe STU1 in this case under C users. And we'll look at the properties and security tab of it. And you know exactly what we're looking for here. We want our source and target user to be present and there they are. So that's completed successfully. So that's completed successfully, and all we got to do is use that same drop down to apply a cutover, and we'll cover that in another video.